Robert Fernandez, uh, the organizer of Lemonade Freedom Day. So, uh, why are you here? Uh, basically, we're here uh, to sell lemonade without a permit. Um, kids across the country, uh, lemonade stands have been shut down for not having a permit, and we're here to defend those kids' lemonade stands. Great. How many times has this been done? Um, this is the third year that we're doing it. Uh, you know, it's 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 happened uh, for three years now, and it, it it goes on across the country. Right now, there's stands in uh, in Houston, Texas, and uh, all over the place. Uh, and it's not just here; it's it's everywhere. Okay, great. So just to make sure we're clear, so you don't have any permits, any licenses anything like that no do we don't business. we don't have any permits we don't have any licenses uh, I believe there's a park officer uh, standing over there watching us probably evaluating the situation at this point um, but uh, yeah we, we, we're not asking for permission from anybody to uh, sell lemonade to people who uh, voluntarily would like to buy lemonade from us how prevalent is the problem of uh, kids lemonade stands getting shut down um, well, well, it's 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 funny because the first year I, I read about it, I, I read you know quite a few reports in the news about it. Um, last year I, I I read a few as well. Um, this year I didn't come across that many. Uh, but however, um, it, there, there's an interesting story. I actually uh, was contacted by a woman from uh, Reno, Nevada. Her lemonade stand was shut down. Uh, her her daughter's lemonade stand was shut down uh, because they were selling lemonade outside of the uh, Reno Tahoe uh, Open PGA Tour. Uh, there's a golf course right outside of her house okay. um, so uh, they came over because a vendor actually complained that their sales were low uh, because of the kids lemonade stand and they, they reported her to the um, to the health department um, so the woman contacted me they, they actually gave her a physical um, warning notice a written warning notice uh, so the woman contacted me and I uh, I basically wrote up an article and I posted it on lemonadefreedom.com um, and I submitted it to all the local Reno news uh, outlets and next thing you know Fox News was covering it as well as other uh, uh, news stations, NB NBC uh, and, and ABC, I believe, out in, in Reno. Uh, they covered it, and uh, the woman actually contacted me yesterday. And the um, the person who runs the catering at uh, at the at the Reno Tahoe uh, Open PGA tournament actually invited them next year, and they're 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 invited now to uh, to set up a lemonade stand on the 18th hole at the tournament next year. So it, it was good to see something good come out of that. No, oh, that's excellent. Okay. Uh, what do you hope to accomplish uh, with doing this here today? Um, well, the biggest thing I'm hoping to accomplish is just, you know, uh, to uh, create public awareness, to let people know that uh, we need to stand up for our rights because if we don't, you know, they're, they're, they're going to be trampled on. Uh, and that's that's pretty much what goes on all the time in this country and other countries as well. Uh, you know, so, so you know, we need to stand up for our right. We don't need to ask for permission if we want to voluntarily sell, thing, voluntarily sell things to people who want to buy things from us. So, you know, I think, you know, I'd like to see more people go out and do what we're doing here today um, and uh, you know stand up for your right to uh, free voluntary exchange okay great anything else you want to add uh, no they just uh, just as I mentioned before just I'd like to see more people go out and set up a stand wherever you are let us know contact us at eliminatefreedom.com and uh, you know we'll, we'll put you up on the website okay thank you uh, what's the problem you have a permit for this? No, we don't have a permit. Okay. Do you realize that you do need a permit? Um, why do we need a permit? You're in Fairmount Park, vending in Fairmount Park. That's not in the park, though. That's it's Fairmount the park, park is inside. Which park? This is public area right here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm letting you know that you're vending in Fairmount Park without a permit, right? You stay you don't have a permit, right? Is it private is property? Is there a law against that? Yeah, yeah, there is. What law is that? I mean, you know, everybody would be vending in there. Yeah. You think that's fair? Sure. You I think do? everybody should be able to. Children selling lemonade. It's a free country, yeah. right? I understand. I don't. You know, listen. It's not. You know, it's kids. It's not. It's nothing to do. It's. 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 You know, about paying your business. I mean, if you have a permit, that's fine. It's about doing it the right way. And surely you want to teach the kids to do things the right way. Is that right? We don't think we're that's doing That's what we're doing, actually. Giving the government money is not the right way. Giving right? the government money is well, not the right way. Well, giving any third party. Well, I got a permit when you I mean, sold lemonade when you were a kid. Yeah, yeah, you sold lemonade when you were a kid? Lemonade. Listen, the rules are, what I did as a kid doesn't apply here. But it should. You need a permit. It should, though. I mean, it should apply. Do you have kids? Yeah, I think the cop is right. Do you have a permit? I mean, you got to realize it. Or are you going to knock it down? Tell me what you want to do. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> do you have um, children? 
Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you. What well, what, you if, want. We what, what if we don't? What if we don't put it? Right, what, the easy what, what, what if we don't? I mean, what if we don't knock it down? Yeah, what would be what would be the uh, what would happen if we didn't? Because we're not hurting you. You're asking if we want to bring it down. Okay. Well, we'll. We're trying to do it the easy way. No, I What's the hard it's way? No arrest, no that kind yeah, of that's stuff. Yeah, that's So obviously you don't want to do that, correct? Are you threatening us? No, it sounds like a thing. Oh, of course we don't want I'm to just, take it down. I'm doing my job, sir. Well, I, I understand that some Surely people have a job. Do my job, job, right? You want the police to do their job? No, now, not so exactly. No, you don't want the police no, to do their job. Like the police to be this? this is good. Right. I mean, this is a peaceful action. We're not harming anyone. Have you received any complaints? Just out of curiosity. Yes. From who? From who? Okay. You have all these vendors over here that that have paid, you know. Did they complain? Did they complain? You know. Do you think so, they? Do you think that they? Do you think they pay listen, either? Listen, this is in court, so I'm I'm trying to give you an easy, you know, opportunity to. What do you want to do? You want to keep it up? Is that what you want to do? Yes. What if the vendors? Sure, we want to keep it up. To, right. what, if, what if we get uh, permission? What if the vendors are cool with it? I mean, are they really? It's very simple. The apply to the Fairmount well, Park. Can, well, can we see that law? In, on Fairmount Park property. What's, what's that? Is, 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 how, how do we know that, that that's the property well, line? Where's the, the issue? That's the law? issue. Where's I'm sorry, the exact sorry, property line? We're on private property. Is that the problem? Are we on private? It makes me a little frightened when government agents threaten people for selling lemonade. I think that's rather silly. As if we don't have enough bad laws, now they threaten people for lemonade. And it's been going on for a while. It's not actually a new thing. It's actually been going on for years. If you search lemonade on Google News, you'll find all sorts of stories about government agents shutting down children's lemonade stands. Lemonade stands, bake stands, Girl Scout cookies, you name it. And it's just like, hey, you need a permit, you need a license, you need a tax, you need an inspection. You know, once upon a time, people were allowed to, you know, trade with each other. It was like a good thing. We all consider that to be a benefit to mankind, that we could exchange goods and services, and everybody was better off at the end of it, and we knew that because if it wasn't, we wouldn't have done it. But actually now, we have a standard of commerce that is forced on us by government, that it's not voluntary, that we have no say in the matter, that it's taken from us by force, it's given to someone else by force. No benefits from this at all. I, I don't think that that's good for...